Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial. Uh, I'm actually really excited about this. I actually got my hands on uh, uh, Final Cut 10.1, Final Cut X 10.1, so I'm really excited to show you this. Uh, they added a lot of new features, multi-cams uh, multi back, you have deck control, um, it, it can export XMLs now, and it works with EDL. They've made so many improvements and it's just it's going to blow away the industry now. But the main one I want to talk about today is the button they've added called the Magic Tool button. Now I'm going to show you what that does in a second. Right now, what I'm going to make our what we're going to do tonight uh, is make a fan trailer. I'm going to make a fan trailer from the Batman: The Dark Knight. Great movie, right? So uh, we're going to get some clips in here in the timeline. So I like that. that. Oh, that clip's kind of cool where he skims out. So I'm going to go ahead and drag the cursor to the right, and it's it's that easy. This is how easy editing is. It's amazing. And I want that clip, so I'm going to go drag that in the timeline. All right, that's good. I want them this clip too. This clip's kind of cool. He's interrogating him, so let's grab the. I like that Joker at the end. You can see his face really well, so let's grab that clip. And all I'm doing is right clicking and dragging. This is all in real time, by the way, you guys. This is H264 native. It's really amazing what they can do nowadays. And drag that one in. And then this one. The guy shoots him in the back. That's a really good clip, so I'm going to go ahead and mark that in and out right there. He shoots him. Yeah, and then that clip too. All right, so I'm gonna add some. I'm also gonna add some transitions. I'm right, right clicking and then just doing uh, cross dissolves, good old fashioned cross dissolves. All right, now let's see what we have so far. No, I'm done here. All right, well, I mean, we spent about two minutes on that. That's not doesn't look too good, but here's what's really cool about 10.1 is they added this magic button right here, the magic button tool. And watch, I'm going to click that. It's going to think for a second or two. Let it load. All right, that ding means it's automa It's done analyzing the clip, and uh, it actually exported for us, too, uh, so we can preview it uh, in QuickTime. So let me just open QuickTime. All right, so here it is. This way. There. All right, let's see how it did. Well, let's see how we did. This city deserves a better class of criminal. I'm gonna give it to him. This summer, out of the darkness comes the night. Perhaps you should read the instructions first. The dark night. Wow, so that, look at that. Isn't that amazing, you guys? It took, it analyzed, it went online, analyzed the movie, and it figured out what I wanted to do, what I wanted it to look like, and it made it look really good. And it, it took five minutes. I mean, it was so blazing fast with a 64-bit speed, you know? It's, it's incredible what you can do in this program. This program is definitely the future of all editing and post-production. I can't wait to see what professionals do when they get their hands on this, and it's going to be great. So uh, stay tuned as I give you guys more updates about 10.1. Uh, uh, thanks for joining.